Hello Team Libra, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way, so pick whichever side you're on. Reverse it, flip it, do whatever you want, like Missy, El Missy Elliott, <laughs> okay? So um, I hope you're all well and safe and in peace. So I'm going to start out first with the Quantum Oracle and the Animal Spirit cards. Then we'll get into the Tarot. All the decks I use are down below, so check them out. So, Libra, what I feel right now is like you're in some kind of fear here because um, you don't know what's going to go on with the future and things like that. Intuitively speaking, Libra, okay, the message I was picking up on, I'm getting so many messages for you, it's not even funny. I feel like a lot of you are in doubt and in fear. For some of you, you're scared that, you know, um, if you don't get back with this person, you're not going to find someone to marry. That's the first fear I'm getting. Um, like, you're never going to get married, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> like, this is this person is the only chance you got, you know? And for others of you, I was getting that this person, whoever you've been dealing with, Libra, whoever you're inquiring about with this reading, I feel like this person has made a really big impact in your life, both positive through negative things. They made a really positive impact in your life. And this has a lot to do with your expansion, okay, um, is what I'm picking up on, okay? This is the Fox energy. So I feel like this person, whoever you've been dealing with, you look at them as a partner, okay? And what I feel like here is that the issue with you and your person is that you both have different ideas of what partnership is, okay? You have different ideas of what a relationship entails, things of that sort. So when it comes to that, I do feel like this person, it's like you see their potential of being a great partner for you, okay? But there's this underlying feeling that I get about you when it comes to your partner because what I feel like is there's things that are not clear okay there's things in this connection there's things from your partner that are not clear your person could be the type that does not talk a lot they could be the type that does not express themselves emotionally a lot it's like you get it's and bits of pieces of it like once a blue moon and you're like wow that's what he's thinking or that's what she's thinking because your person does not express themselves the way you do okay so what i'm getting here is that you keep questioning things about this person so it could be maybe in the past for some of you you caught this person lying are not telling the truth they're not really straightforward is what i'm getting and that doesn't mean they're a liar for all of you some have lied i'm picking up on deceitful energy but mostly it's because that's just the way they are okay they're not used to speaking their mind they're not used to um conversing about their feelings and whatnot so that's why you have fears like is this person lying to me are they telling me everything um that kind of energy okay so let's get into the tarot here yeah this person has made a intuitively this person has made um it's like you've learned a lot through this person okay whether it was in bad way in bad ways difficult challenging ways ugly ways you've learned a lot from this person they've helped you evolve with yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like through negative experiences with this person, they've helped you see things differently. Maybe they even woke you up in a certain sense. Like you, it could be you went through an awakening when you either met this person or you broke up with them. Okay, so I hope that makes sense for you. This is the Illuminati Tarot first deck, first person. So like I said, flip it, reverse it. To meet, you know, whatever your story is, okay?
<laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Whoa. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So I feel that your person in the past was very charming. They were very kind. It's like they knew how to sweet talk you kind of energy when they wanted it. Um, but what I feel like is that your person, it's like they, you know what the kind of energy I'm getting Libra from this person? It could be like someone who's never had a real relationship or has had a real relationship when they were really young. So they don't know how to act. It's like you have to school this person on how to be. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of frustration on your part because it's like they don't know, you know, okay, like, are you going to text me during the day? Ask me how I'm doing. Like, they don't know the dynamics of what a relationship is. Whether they've had one in the past or not doesn't matter. This person is a, the, a prince, which is like the, you know, the knight. Okay, so like they don't know how to be in a real, this is what I want to say. They don't know how to be in a real relationship. Whatever you consider is real, okay? But what I feel like is this person texts you. Um, I do feel like this person reached out to you recently. You might have uh, been apart from them for a while, like no communication is what I'm getting. But this person here, I do feel like they're in the midst of change, okay? This is the tower. This is, you know... Um, this person keeps going in and out of isolation. So it's kind of like, for some of you, I feel like this person, you did have a conversation with them. They probably texted you or reached out to you. And you're just like, oh my God, they're still the same. They're still the same person. They haven't changed and whatnot. This person is going through a lot of change, but they're not telling you about it, okay? Inside of them, it's like there is a pressure cooker that's about to blow up because I feel like this person is so this is what I'm getting from this energy from spirit this person needs to to change okay they need to change their lifestyle they need to change the way they are because they're stuck in some kind of energies that they've been in for a long time and what spirit is saying here is like they are changing um but they don't know how to they don't know how to react to this change. They don't know what what's going through them. I feel like there's a lot of mixed feelings within this person. And what I'm getting here is that um, they want to change. They want to change this connection. They want to change the past energies of this connection. But the thing is, is that they're having... Okay, so this could be a stubborn person, Libra. Or this can be someone who's very set in their ways and they just don't know how to like embrace this. They're so scared of change, okay? Um, also, and that's why they keep going in and out of isolation. This person though, when you both were apart, and when I say apart, I feel like, I mean, you don't have to be on non-talking terms. I feel like this person is being guided through spirit. And they're really, like, spirit is really knocking on their door and is like, you need to change this. You need to change that. And what I feel like is like, and it has a lot to do with this connection too. I feel like spirit is pushing this person towards you, okay? I do strongly feel that. They're like, go to Libra. Go to Libra is what I'm getting. You need to do this. You need to make it right. You need to rebuild what you broke between each other, okay? Okay. Because they're, they're the cause of this is what I'm getting, okay? I know it takes two, but <clears throat> what I feel is like, no blame game here, but what I feel like is like the action they took or did not take has to do with the destruction of your connection, okay? The spirit's like knocking on their door and it's like, go to Libra, <clears throat> go make it up, go rebuild this, you know? And um, rebuild this from, you know, the ground up, okay? You need to really make, and also apologize to Libra. For some of you, you didn't get an apology from this person. They could have just ghosted you, okay? They could have just stopped talking to you. Like, and you don't even know why. You're like, what did I do, okay? So 
but they're so scared of rejection. So this person here also, by the way, is realizing what you mean to them, how valuable you are, and they did not recognize that before. And I don't care if they were with you for years, months, whatever, doesn't matter. This person didn't realize the value you hold, and spirit here is making them wake up to that, okay? Guiding them and telling them how valuable you are, that you're a part of their life. I feel like this person could have had you at a, like a, at a distance, okay? Always put a distance, always put a border between you both. And spirit is here telling this person like, no, 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 no. You know, the wrong person you're putting on at a distance, okay? That's what I'm getting. So Libra, this is the second person. This is the witch's tarot. Wow, spirit's got your back, whoever this is. Like, Whoever is dealing with somebody like this, spirits really got your back, okay? All right. Hold on, guys. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like this. Okay. I like this energy, Libra. Okay, so I feel that you know what? I feel that when this person gave, came back, you thought that this is a new beginning for both of you, but and you thought you're going to get an apology, but some of you didn't. Okay, for the way this person behaves in the past. But I do feel like you're looking at it from a more positive note now. You just want to start fresh. You want to start new. I feel that um, for some of you, you just want to know, like, is this going to work or not? Like, am I, am I supposed to go with someone new? Okay. Um, am I supposed to give a chance to whoever's, you know, trying to pick up on you or what's not? But with this energy, what I'm feeling is that you still have faith in this connection. You know that, you know, spirits on this. For a lot of you, I do feel like you connect to your guides, ancestors about this connection. And they're, it's like they're giving you messages and you're following it. And it's like you're, you're having faith. It's like you know that if you start new and fresh with this connection, like you, you need to start fresh and new. Like getting rid of all the past energies with that has to do with this person and so forth, okay? But you're really listening to your intuition. I feel like you are holding back at this time. You're keeping quiet. Um, you're focusing on yourself, on your higher wisdom, on your intuition. You could be doing divination. You could be doing practicing manifestation, magic, any kind of those things. And it's kind of like you have faith that, okay, Whatever this person, however they're acting, it's like they're going to come back around. Do you have faith in that is what I'm getting. And that's why you're no longer stressing out. You're no longer losing sleep over it or you're trying not to because you know that you, you're, getting, you're getting your messages is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, some of you are back and forth between the messages you're getting and the sleepless nights, but I feel like a lot of you are coming out of this energy. Like, I'm not going to lose sleep over this. I have faith that spirit is going to bring me whoever I'm meant to be with, okay, so I can start my new journey and what so forth. So the other thing I'm picking up intuitively, remember, Libra, I was talking about your expansion, right? So this person has a lot to do with your the, these energies of this connection your expansion is what i'm getting with this card i know it has not to do with that but this is your journey it could be okay this is what i want to say you going back and forth and a lot of you are going back and forth with this person on and off kind of relationship connection call it what you will but you are meant to do something like you have a purpose mission okay Call it what you will. And spirit is trying to guide you to that, okay? So it could be something with healing. It could be anything, okay? It's different for all of you. This is not a personal reading. So 
this is about your expansion and I feel like you're no longer going to let these person's energies or lack of their, you know, whatever, love, attention, effort to this connection affect that. It's like, you know that this person has something to do with it, but in the past, you let this person throw you off, throw off your mission, your purpose, your soul journey, and you're no longer going to let it happen again. Okay, so now I feel like you're just holding back and you're just like, okay, I know that whatever is supposed to happen for my highest and best is going to happen. Okay, a lot of you are doing divination. I love this magic divination, call it what you will. And it's working. Okay, as long as you have faith in that, but you're not letting this person get in the way of your expansion of you being on your soul journey because you know what you're meant to do now for a lot of you, you know, okay. And um, that's why you're not making any moves. You're not making any moves. This person could have also insinuated or suggested somehow, some way for you both to go on vacation or get away together. Um, but you're just, you're just going within. I feel like you're going within. I feel like you're not really giving this connection much effort, okay? Yeah, your person's not happy about it, but it's like they keep going in and out um, of this connection. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm having a bad hair day. So, it's so humid here. Ta, I love this. Okay, your person wants to get back together. They want to heal this, okay? This is judgment. This is temperance, okay? Your person wants to be back together. They want to heal together, okay? They know that they need to make some changes, but they're being very stubborn is what I want to say. Within their environment, I don't feel that, okay, Whoever you're dealing with, Libra, their environment has a lot to do with them making these changes. They could be held back because they have responsibilities or blah, blah, blah. I'm sure they're giving you all the excuses in the book. But the truth is, is that they're being controlled by whatever it is in their immediate environment. And it's, it's played such a big toll on the destruction of your connection, for your connection not growing, for your connection not reaching its full potential, but this person really wants to heal with you. I do feel like spirit is so on this person to guide them back to you, um, back to you and heal this um, together, okay? I feel like, yeah, it's like they got the wake-up call. Like spirit is on this person. Like I don't even know what else to say. And your person might be like really far from believing in like, you know, spirit guides, angels, call it what you will, um, deities. So, but they really got the call. And what I feel like is they want to heal this with you. That's what's in their heart space is what I'm feeling. I just feel that them, you know what they're, you're scared of also to see you. So Libra, I don't know how long you haven't seen this person. Let me know in the comments. But they're so scared that if they see you, it's going to end up in a fight. You know what I mean? It's like they want to heal this connection. They know that they haven't healed um, what was from the past is what I'm getting, whatever that means for you. But they want to heal this. But they're really scared that they're scared of this big change because I feel like this person like um, they don't want to say something or do some. They, it's more say they don't want to say something that will cause a fight between you two. So this person is scared to see you. They might have said, you know, let's go somewhere. Let's get away, you know, one day like they might have somehow suggested that to you because they want to really heal this yeah but they're scared they're scared it's gonna end up in a fight maybe that's happened before guys i'm getting like a flashback so maybe you went on vacation before or whatever call it what you will get away okay you both were alone and somehow some way this ended up 
in a fight, in an argument, and like things kind of got crazy. Um, and they don't want to go through that again, okay? They don't want to go through that. But this person really wants to heal with you. I just want to let you know. I'm sure they are not acting like they do, but... Oh, this is weird. Okay. All right. I feel like you're waiting for a sign, Libra. You're waiting for a sign. And I feel like because you're doing whatever this is, this divination, magic prayers, healing, whatever it is, you're waiting for a sign. You're waiting for a sign from spirit to say, okay, Libra, it's your turn. Like make the move or accept this person when they come in. Okay. I feel like it's, you know, it's, I think it's really cute to be honest. And this has to do with the stars. So maybe you're waiting for the right time for the star alignment. You're in astrology and you're just like, okay, this is not the time. For most of you, it's not the time, guys. I mean, for some of you, you're scared, actually, because it's Venus retrograde. But realize the most work you can do for the positive is right now, Libra, during Venus retrograde. Okay, honestly, when it comes to relationships, partnerships, it's the best time now to do the work you need to do. You all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so for those of you who are in the arts... So let's see. I'm going to pull Spirit Oracle for you. Okay, so let's see what Spirit wants to say to my Libras. First card, the journey. You are soaring to new heights. Experiment, play. Allow your spirit the freedom to explore new and exciting possibilities for your life. Follow the rainbow across the horizon. A pot of gold awaits. Like I said, there's something going on, Libra, with your expansion is what spirit was telling me earlier. There's this new journey you're supposed to embark on. And I feel like this has to do with your finances, with your career, your purpose, your mission, the journey, your soul journey, I feel like you're being pushed somewhere. It could be either start school again, take those courses you've been waiting to take, those, you know, practice whatever you were practicing. Um, there's something about that coming up, and I feel like it's, it's a part of your expansion, okay? So let's see. I'm going to pull one more message for you because they're asking me to, Libra. So for my Libras, what does Libra need to know for their highest and best? A place beyond time. So don't get so caught up with the everyday drama of life. Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and allow it to carry you into a peaceful space inside your heart, an eternal place beyond time filled only with love. So this is about escaping. I feel like this is escapism. So a lot of you are just really... Um, angry and fed up that it's taking so long for you to see eye to eye with this person okay but it's all a part of the journey is what they're saying it's a part of your journey okay and the rainbow is coming out a pot of gold awaits <laughs> so this is about you um using the breath so breathing exercises whenever you feel stressed out or whenever you get angry i feel like you are angry still at this person every now and then and you're learning how to release that use breathing exercises like deep uh, inhales you know slower exhales guys that will really help your heart open back up okay because I don't want you to get bitter okay they want one more card for you nope one more for Libra I want Libra to know expansion they keep telling me expansion balance okay balance okay libra this is balance like this is this is your card okay this is about you balancing out your love life and your career and your mission whatever it is balancing all those things out all is perfect just the way it is only acknowledge every part of you and you will find the balance you are seeking so every part of you that has to do with your 
um, soul mission to or journey is what I'm getting. So you have to embrace every part of you so that when you both get together, they can embrace every part of you. Okay. So the good and the bad, whatever you think is bad. This is, this is about you honoring yourself too, okay? So this person, you can teach them how to honor you right because I feel like this person really wants to come in and heal this. They're just scared, okay? So anyhow, Libra, I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Um, subscribe if you already haven't and it does help the channel grow and for me to create more content, okay? So... I wish you all the best. Take care and I'll see y'all soon.